Indian community in a particular country registers growth and prospers when a person of Indian origin is at the helm of affairs. India's soft power also grows this way. This is a common belief, but is it true? The straight answer is not always. This is all identity politics that results in amalgamating migrant voters in favor of a particular party that projects a particular candidate with a specific identity. This was quite evident in the case of Kamala Harris. Her election was hailed due to her Indian roots. However, the same Harris Biden administration passed a pro Pakistan resolution on Kashmir. Still, people fail to realize the same in the case of Rishi Sunak. Namaste, welcome to TFI English, the national socio political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host, Apurva, and if you are watching us on Facebook, give our page a like. And if you are watching us on YouTube, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Coming back to the story today, in this video, let's talk about Rishi Sunak's run for Prime Ministership in comparison with that of Sonia Gandhi. Rishi Sunak has lost the race for becoming the PM of the United Kingdom as he got 21,000 less votes than Liz Truss, the former Secretary of State under Boris Johnson. Sunak could win the trust of just 42.6% of members, while Truss won with an overwhelming support of 57.4% of the members. Policies of a country change along with the leaders, but in the case of Britain, it is not the case. Not much is going to change with India as Truss has an excellent working relationship with Indian cabinet ministers and we can hope that FTA with India will be finalized before Diwali. It was Rishi Sunak whose resignation triggered a series of exits from the UK government and eventually led to Boris Johnson's fall. The Indian community was happy that finally an Indian would be governing India's former colonizer, that is Britain. The common emotion was like an Indian to take over Britain in just 75 years of independence. Well, we have already overtaken the UK to become the fifth largest economy of the world. What purpose would Sunak's election serve? I fail to understand that. After Sunak's defeat, Indians are feeling disappointed and upset. Sunak's Indian roots had helped him gain a lot of attention. It was also widely written that Rishi Sunak's loss will be attributed to UK's racism that would bring bad name to the country. And this exposes the hypocrisy of us Indians. It was in 1991 when Sonia Gandhi became a prime contender for the Prime Minister's post. However, barring some Congress bootlickers, none wanted to see Sonia Gandhi as the state head attributing to her Italian origin. She faced severe backlash and in 2004, Manmohan Singh was sworn in. It was a believed fact that a woman who is not born on the Indian soil, has not been brought up in the Indian society, could never understand the problems and hardships of a common Indian, no matter if she was married within one of the most prominent families of India. As Indians discarded Sonia Gandhi for being an outsider, the same might happen with Rishi Sunak. However, in Sunak's case, it was the Conservative Party that was choosing its leaders and it was not a public mandate. Even if the Brits were to reject Sunak, it should not be seen as a problem. Why are the British expected to accept a man with migrant origin, again married to an Indian, to lead the nation? We Indians thought that Sonia Gandhi, being a foreigner, cannot lead the nation. In the same manner, the Britishers might think that Sunak, being of Indian origin, cannot lead the UK. And if he did, it would have made the slightest difference.